Hello, my name is Alain Fays, and today I will be outlining my lung funds project entitled Genetic and Epigenetic Factors Contributing to Cigarette Smoke Susceptibility in CUPD. But first, what is CUPD? Well, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a disease associated with both chronic inflammation and lung function decline. Although smoking is a main risk factor for developing CPD, we still cannot determine which smokers will go on to develop this current disease. This project has two main aims. The first aim will be to identify individuals susceptible to acute smoke exposure. To do this, we are looking at party smokers pre and post cigarette smoke exposure. We will then look at both healthy and CPD patients to see how they differ in their response to acute smoke exposure. Now the second aim will be focusing on identifying which factors change when a patient stops smoking. This is important in CPD because even when they stop smoking, their lungs still remain inflamed. We hope that both these studies will provide a molecular signature which we can use to identify an individual effect of cigarette smoke exposure and potentially how people go on to develop CPD. Once we have identified this molecular signature, we will then take this into the lab. And in the lab, we'll be looking at the airway epithelium, the first line of defense against foreign particles such as cigarette smoke. Here, we will grow the epithelial cells similar to how they grow in the normal lung. We will then modify these cells using both genetic and epigenetic techniques so they resemble the airway epithelium present in CUPD airways. Finally, we will treat them with cigarette smoke extract to investigate pathways which may be important in our response to cigarette smoke exposure. Very little is known about the development of CPD, but understanding these molecular patterns in response to cigarette smoke may provide novel treatment targets for future